In the film, there's the ketamine scene. When you watch that scene back, uh, does it make you emotional at all seeing your wife in, in that state? Yeah, yeah, that, that's a hard scene for me to watch on many levels. But, uh, you know, and it's a really, it's a dangerous thing too. You know, I have addiction issues and, and even getting it professionally through a doctor. I had a ketamine treatment after that, that was just a shot. And then I had to got to sit down with my therapist and go through a therapy session with him like that. And that was a lot more helpful. It's just a dangerous world because, uh, just because when you have a brain like mine, it almost is like trying to attack you all the time. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it any more than that. So it's really important to figure out ways that you don't do that anymore so that you could kind of enjoy the process and have fun with people. I, that's why me tag teaming with RJ was always my favorite aspect of wrestling in the ring. Yeah, certainly some emotionally charged scenes in the film. Uh, but at this point, David, do you feel like you are fulfilled in, in your search for the respect that you've been looking for? I do. And a lot of that came with like me sort of working out, a work like understanding a lot of my demons, you know, uh, working through a lot of my problems with, you know, people closest to me and um, just having that confidence in myself. But it's really the connection with the fans that I made on the road and and just getting, you know, getting their respect. You know, I walked into the Nick Gage match and they were just booing me and spitting on me and like hating me. And by the time I walked out, they were cheering. And it was like a, you know, to, for it to happen like within a match was a pretty magical moment for me.